Hi! In this video I'm going to show you a quick and easy way to make an adapter so you can put your iPhone or iPod on a um, tripod. So it's really easy and very cheap. Let me see. It cost me only $3.28 today. Now, I had some things, one thing already. There's only, well, I had two things already. Um, I had an iPod case, and I will show you what that looks like. Let me take you out. Okay. It looks like this, and it's got the clip, and it sets in there, and you can still touch it and whatnot. Okay, I had, I already had that, and of course I had my iPod, and I also had my tripod. Ta-da! Now, the, um, adapter, that's what I'm going to call it, looks like this. Okay, so the way that this tripod does is it has that little screw. I think most of them do like this. Screw on, on the bottom, and you twist that, and it's supposed to come, the screw comes up into your camera if you've got a standard camera. Well, obviously, the iPods and iPhones can't do that. They don't have the holes, or at least right now they're not. They don't. Maybe one day they'll come out with one that does. But anyway, um, I saw another video where you took a... Um, shelf bracket, a small one, and you did this, but they didn't have any in the hardware store I went to, so I got this hinge. Now this hinge, as you can tell, does not just flop. It will, you know, stay around where you position it. And I got this nut that fit the screw perfectly, and so I put the, um, oops, I'm unscrewing it smooth. Um, anyway, let's see. How, I'll show you what I did. Let me see. You know, this is awkward. I need a tripod to show you how to do the tripod. Um, there we go. Now, okay, the screw's right here. And so all I had to do sorry, strap the phone. I set the hinge over the screw, pushed the screw up as high as I could go, then I put, I think it's a nut, maybe a washer, no it's a nut, yeah. Anyway, I tightened the nut on it, and so now it will keep it from moving. Well, it'll turn like that, but it won't, ooh, it loosens it. Okay, anyway, it will keep it from moving a lot. <laughs> and then you take take your iPod case and you clip it to it like so and then you can put your iPod in it oops put it upside down let me see there you put it in it and ta-da! And now you have a iPod or iPhone adapter. Now, if you do not have one of these cases that can clip on, um, you can either buy one or you can um, put, like, here's another idea. See, this was inspired, I think I mentioned it earlier, on a video, another video on YouTube. But he, he used that little um, bracket for the shelf. And um, what he did is he put some double-sided tape and then a cheap iPhone case he got from Best Buy and um, just like kept it where it's permanently attached. But you could just um, take a piece of Velcro, I bet, and um, like put one of the side, glue it on your iPhone case preferably, or iPod case. Don't do it to the actual iPod. And then do the other on the hinge and that would probably work as well. <coughs> Or you could um, use the double-sided tape on a, another case. But anyway, I hope you enjoyed this video. And let me know if you get to use this method. It's really easy and it seems to really work. In fact, I'm just moving the hinge right now to make it go up and down. It holds this tight enough. Yeah. Okay. Anyway, 
Bye, and thank you for watching. Have a great day, unless you planned otherwise. Bye.